Hey guys, Troy uh, at The Space. I'm um, at my office here in Burley and just uh, checking in, super excited about this week and this coming uh, two weeks. We're moving into a new era at The Space. You know, we're in our seventh year now and um, I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on where The Space came from, um, what it's been and, and where we're going moving forward because I'm not sure how much of this I've actually shared, but the space, whilst there's been many amazing people involved over the years, um, it, it fundamentally started as a, a means to help us more effectively commercialise our ideas. Um, but even more than that, I want to take a step back a little bit further. Um, like for me personally, um, I haven't always been uh, an entrepreneur or an ideas person. Um, but I've always felt like that I had a, a calling inside me, like there was, there was something that was beckoning me forward that I wanted to express, and I, I didn't know how to express that. That coupled with a whole bunch of other things, it, it led me to a, it made me, um, to some extent, suffer. Um, and it put me on this personal development path, and a part of that personal development path, I, you know, started learning and growing and, a lot of things along along that journey were pointing to uh, meditation as a as, as a tool, and meditation became a key part in my in my life. And as part of spending time in meditation and learning the practice of meditation, I feel like it, it's in that stillness that I really started to tune into who I was as a person, like outside that mental noise. I developed the the ability to be able to like as someone that. You know, easily get overwhelmed and and stressed, and in and then in that not become effective. And I'm not sure if you could, can relate, but then um, through meditation, be able to sit and get outside of that, and go, oh wow, all those little things that were building up, they weren't even really that important anyway. Um, I should do this more often, and it became an addictive quality to be able to sit outside that stream of mental noise thoughts feelings and so forth and so and that is sort of to a large extent what constitutes what the space actually is it's the ability to be able to sit outside the mind in, in the stillness and in doing that you can then hear like your instinct your intuition a greater sense of who you are and so that inspired thoughts like how do you where do those ideas come from and you know once you've got an idea what do you do with it and so then that's like the other other part of the space like so teaching people how to sit into the stillness is something that i went strong with initially but i didn't think the market was really ready for it so then we tended to focus more on the commercialization aspect so building an ecosystem to support people to more effectively develop their ideas but then more recently, connecting in with this transformational technology uh, community globally and then working as the Australian lead, it's kind of like my two worlds come together, that personal development journey uh, and the, the startup. So I've been doing a lot um, to help now build a global ecosystem, supporting people, uh, supporting entrepreneurs and innovators that are building technologies across a whole gambit of different um, verticals to help advance um, mental health, well-being, and human thriving, and that's freaking exciting. And that's across three key um, what we call stages. Like the first stage is what we call future basics, and this is um, something that um, Nicole Bradford, the founder, working closely with her. Like this is her language, and I, I really align with this. But the first stage of what we call the fundamental um, well-being spectrum is is this first stage of future basics. And looking at this from through the lens of a founder is like, um, you know, stress, anxiety, overwhelm, and, you know, to some extent mental health. Um, it's a tough sport that we play. And, 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 uh, and just, you know, to the extreme, like people harming themselves, like this first stage of just helping people to manage that, those states, stress, overwhelm, anxiety, et cetera. And then moving to, to the next stage of what we call the future of work and the future of living, which as automation, AI and robotics start to really take impact and it depends on which 
which um, the report you read as to when that's going to happen, but what everyone agrees is it is going to happen. And so that's going to mean like a lot of disruption to tasks and jobs. And and for people that are already, you know, in a stress state, suffering state, like it's, it's going to be a challenging time. And for me, entrepreneurship, like the skills that you learn as part of entrepreneurship, not only does it teach you to to um, be resourceful, like find opportunity amongst the, the disruption, but you know, builds tenacity, it builds creativity, your collaboration, your ability to be able to work with with other people, and it's going to be this this humanness, this authentic relating, our ability to be um, like creative uh, skills that we really, really need to refine moving forward. So, making this leap from what we call future basics to just like managing our stress state, being able to regulate our uh, our state, um, moving out of stress, anxiety, and so forth, and then to be able to like thrive in a, in a world of hyper change. Like so, everyday entrepreneurship is is something that we we really are passionate about encouraging, encouraging more people to uh, because you know like the reality is the nine to five. Uh, it's dead, you know, like the, the security that you find in, in, in a job. I, I think um, it's become high risk to rely on that uh, because then, you know, if you haven't got that security of relying on, on a job, well, then then you who, know, who knows what could happen, you know, like you're, you're going to be forced into, into a really stress state whereas if you've got the ability to be able to generate your own income and doing something that you love well then you're going to thrive in a, in, a, in a modern world so what we're talking about is developing these skills and the third stage in this is what we call the future human and this is where we have our gifts fully unlocked we're like talking about group flow moving to a stage of enlightenment um, if you could imagine what that would be like so with within transformational technology our transformative technology rather our collective vision is to help elevate the consciousness of two billion people on the planet by 20 2050 um, and in doing so that reaches what we call a tipping point you penned at a study and of online communities when you reach 25 percent of the population it reaches a, a tipping point which creates a revolution so part of that lifting the, the consciousness of on the planet for which I, I believe is like the big domino. Um, if we knock over that big domino, well then a lot of the other challenges that we face on the planet will take care of themselves. But what we're doing at the space and through everyday entrepreneurs is to help people to develop the skills. And it's a program we're really excited about. We've been developing now for, I feel like um, this the last seven years, but more intensely for the last 12 months, we're doing our beta launch on the 21st of um, August and this is a shout out to people that are interested I think everyone should get in on it just to have a look at it at least to see if it resonates because what we're talking about is moving like I said the, there's no longer security in, in the, the nine to five but there's no longer no longer a reality to be doing 80 to 100 hour weeks as an entrepreneur either that doesn't work I've seen it I've seen the nasty side of it like the whole rise and grind mentality it, it's it's causing more harm than it is good it's it's hurting good people and from what I've from what I've come to understand and, and experience and live for myself is that you can create something that you love generate an income which allows you flexibility and uh, do that in flow and feel good you know like and I, I do my very best to be an example of this uh, by no means perfect but um, there it's, it's, it's an ongoing practice of, of being able to wake up each day and do what you're born to do and, and be paid for that it's for me like it's a new opportunity so it's no longer nine to five we're relying on a job building something for yourself that's going to see you as the richest person in the graveyard is, is not an option either it's like how do you who are you what is it that you're being called to do and if you don't know that like isn't there more to life than to just wake up and go to work every day like i'm telling you that there is there's an opportunity to like understand who you really are why you're here on this planet and then and let your business be an extension of that 